Hi, I'm Ellen Sternow, and I am here to show you how to make an alternative to the mayonnaise-based tuna salad. So right here I have canned tuna fish. You can buy whichever brand you like. This is solid white bumblebee packed in water. They have oil packed, they have solid white, chunk white, chunk light, dark meat tuna, packed in olive oil, packed in regular oil. I can go on and on. I like the packed in water because you get the most fish taste and I add oil as I want, which I will be doing in this one. So what I do first is I'm just going to flake this tuna apart. I don't like my tuna fish chunky, so I'm just taking all the, the meat and I'm just going to flake it apart. Okay, and you can flake it as much or as little as you want. You don't have to flake it at all. Though it does have calories and fat, it's very, very healthy for you and it's not a bad alternative if you don't want the mayonnaise. Okay, I use a ton of olive oil, and as you can see, I do not have a weight problem. And I probably, probably about a quarter cup at least, if not more a day. I use it in everything. Okay, so here you have your nice flaky bit. I'm just going to take a little bit of olive oil. You can use whatever brand you like. Okay, this is a nice Greek brand, and I'm just going to drizzle a little bit over the top. Okay, just a little bit. This will do so much for flavor. It brings out the flavor in the fish. You have the wonderful olive oil flavor. And to that, I'm going to add a tiny bit of vinegar. This is white wine vinegar. Again, you can use any type you like. If you like rice vinegar, if you like balsamic vinegar, red wine vinegar, whatever your choice. Just a tiny little bit. You can use as much or as little as you want. Okay, so it's almost like making a salad dressing. So that, I'm just going to start, and at this point you can taste it and see if you have enough vinegar, enough olive oil, okay? And then I have a bunch of other little ingredients that I'm going to add to this. It's going to make it really colorful and bulk it up a little bit. My favorite dill, which I love to use in most fish and poultry dishes. I'm just going to put a little bit in. Okay, celery for crunch and flavor. Okay, I have a little bit of concasse tomato. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. Concasse is the flesh of the tomato that I have chopped up. I leave the seeds out. I'm going to pop in a little bit of capers and a small amount of mustard. You can add it in or leave it out, whatever you want. And then I have a white onion. If you want, red onion is a nice alternative and that will also add some color. Okay, once you have everything in, you're just going to mix it on up. Okay, sometimes hard boiled egg is a nice thing to chop up in there. You can just layer it on your bread. And there you have an alternative way of making tuna salad.